Okay, this section of the video is for cranking and running with the pressure bladder and um, got a few things laid out here but first I wanted to review something that I should have mentioned in my first video is the first time you inflate the bladder for instance when you check it for leaks uh, it's a good idea to hold the tail end of the bladder when you pump it up to make sure that the front end expands first that's called training the bladder so uh, with the Texas timers fitting it's not so critical it usually expands at the front anyway but uh, if you've got a longer bladder uh, then a lot of time it, it'll want to expand near the rear so uh, just grab the tail end of it squeeze the air into it and when it starts to expand let it swell up from the front and let it sit that way for a couple of minutes and after that it'll always expand from the front every time uh, some people will put a uh, one-way check valve in the tail instead of a plug and fill it up from the back and no matter if it's been trained to fill at the front when you pump fuel into the tail of it it will still expand at the front so on our setup here uh, it's good to be organized when you're going to use a bladder so that you don't have to be fumbling around uh, what I have here is my table with the fuel and some emergency eye wash it's just a spray bottle full of water and safety glasses and my fuel and syringe uh, on a rag and at the plane I have a couple of pairs of my plastic syringes uh, in case I drop one I can pick the other one up quick because if you open that tube and the engine doesn't start you need to cut it off in a hurry or else the engine will flood uh, so anyway Hopefully I can demonstrate how to crank this up and uh, I'm using last weekend's bladder so I hope it doesn't pop uh, when I punch the fuel into it. Uh, it's best to put a new bladder on every time you go out to fly but one sometimes will last for a weekend but if you let it sit a few days it's pretty weak. The fuel eats it up. Um, but anyway let's get started and see how we do. Okay, before I got ready to fly, I flushed out the fuel system because I had after run oil in it. So uh, with the bladder disconnected, I went ahead and primed the Venturi in the port and flipped through and burned off several primes just to make sure that we didn't have any oil in the way. Because when you're messing with a bladder, you don't want it starting and then stopping. Because uh, uh, when it does that, the fuel continues to squeeze out of the bladder and flood the engine. So you got to learn to be pretty quick with the hemostats and um, you invariably will flood it when you're trying to crank it. If you do, just keep flipping through the prop and make sure the prime's burned completely out and you may not even need to prime it again. Just the uh, last of what's left over from the flood will be good enough to crank it. It takes a little getting the hang of it. Also setting the needle valve. Um, uh, the first time you set it, you got to hunt for it. Uh, some people hold the plane nose down and know how many drips to cut, uh, count coming out of the Venturi as the fuel runs through. Uh, make sure you keep it nose down uh, so that the fuel runs out and not in. Um, I happen to know from experience that this needle is three and a half turns for cranking, so I've got it set at three and a half turns now. So we're going to fill up the bladder. Okay drew my fuel up in this syringe. Now it's already got the lure lock tip on it. So I'll have the hemostats ready. I left a little room in the syringe to pull backwards and suck any air that might have been in the bladder out. Make sure you keep the syringe pointed down so the air stays at the top. And Get ready with your hemostats, and I'm going to put about oh a half an ounce in the bladder and clip it off. Now I'm going to connect the fuel line back to the engine, and we're ready to go. One important thing is to make sure you have your hemostats in a convenient position to work with. Um, I'm going to reposition mine
now everything's up and out of the way of the prop and when I crank as soon as I know it's running I'm just going to snap the hemostats off so let's hook our battery up we're going to put a little bit of prime in the Venturi because we need fuel in the crankcase for it to run long enough to confirm it's going to run and get the hemostats off before it quits the needle valves are already set so we're going to prime the Venturi a little bit put a little drop and there in the exhaust port put your hands on the hemostats commence to flip it One thing you got to know now is that it runs out slightly before the fuel pressure is completely released in the bladder so while you're landing it's pumping the last little bit into the engine and flooding it so when you get ready to crank up for the next flight the engine's already going to have fuel in it it'll probably be flooded so don't prime it just hook your battery up flip 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 until the flood's almost gone and um, then get ready to go because it'll take off again so, anyway that's as simple as it is i find it easier than hard tanks because the height of the bladder above the plane or below the uh, or rather above the engine or below the engine makes no difference all that matters is that you get your routine figured out now the first few times you do it you'll fumble and you'll flood the engine and it'll you know flip and flip and flip but um you get the hang of it after you get through flying for that day uh, when you get it back to the shop flush the fuel system uh, take the venturi off and make sure all of the sprinkler holes are free uh, push alcohol through it push alcohol through the orifices on the needle valve and i like to um, pump some uh, alcohol into the bladder and then let it squirt out um, that way if you're going to fly again tomorrow or the next day that bladder might still work don't be surprised if you get out in the field and it pops uh, but not a big deal just carry spare ones in your box and the next time you want to fly when you put a new bladder on all you have to do is cut the zip tie pull the mesh bag back pull the old bladder off plug the new one on sew the zip tie through the holes in the mesh bag assuming you've got a mesh bag um, and uh, zip tie it back on secure it and mine's just secured with that old tank hook there and you're ready to go again so anyway i hope this has been helpful i had a good time doing it although making a movie that didn't make me look like a moron turned out to be uh, difficult more much more so than i thought it would but anyway that's it and happy flying goodbye